A busy day here at the Eau Claire Airport in Wisconsin. The plane for the Trump Vance campaign landing just minutes after Air Force Two touched down on Wednesday. As Vice President Kamala Harris and Trump running mate J.D. Vance held competing campaign events in the same town at roughly the same time. I just wanted to check out my future plane. Vance even approaching Harris's plane ahead of the Wisconsin rally. It was the first stop of a tour through the battleground states for Harris and her new running mate, Minnesota Governor Tim Walz, after their initial rally on Tuesday. Harris saying that she's focused on the future while Trump is focused on the past. Do we want to live in a country of freedom, of compassion, of rule of law? or a country of chaos, fear and hate. Harris leaning in to her running mate's history pre-politics as a high school teacher and football coach, repeatedly calling him Coach Walls. Tim Waltz will be a rubber stamp for Kamala's dangerously liberal agenda. But the Donald Trump campaign is launching a new campaign ad casting Walls as too liberal. What bothers me about Tim Waltz is the stolen valor garbage. Meanwhile, at an event earlier on Wednesday, Vance, who's a former Marine, questioned Walls's military record. Walls served in the National Guard for 24 years before retiring in 2005 to run for Congress, just months before his battalion was sent to Iraq. When Tim Waltz was asked by his country to go to Iraq, you know what he did? He dropped out of the army and allowed his unit to go without him. The Harris Walls campaign dismissing this claim, forwarding to Spectrum News statements from those who served with Walls, who supported his right to leave after two decades of service. Now, former President Trump was not on the campaign trail on Wednesday, but he did call into a Fox News program, blasting both Harris and Walls as dangerously liberal. Meanwhile, the Harris campaign said it raised $36 million in just the first 24 hours since the vice president announcement. In Washington, I'm Evan Kozloff, Spectrum News.